Imagine two giants on the open road. One moves with a deep diesel rumble, its engine firing with the rhythm of old-school American power. The other glides almost silently, driven not by fuel, but by electricity. These aren't just trucks. They're symbols of two different eras colliding. Today, we're putting the Tesla Semi and the Freightliner Cascadia head-to-head, -head, which one leads us into the future, and which one holds on to the traditions of the past. Let's start by introducing contenders. The Freightliner Cascadia is the king of diesel. It's been the best-selling Class 8 semi-truck in America for over a decade. If you've driven on a U.S. highway any time in the last 15 years, you've definitely seen one, maybe hundreds. It's the workhorse of long-haul trucking, powered by diesel engines that offer reliability, range, and a well-established fueling infrastructure. Freightliner a division of Daimler Truck North America, has continued refining the Cascadia for maximum aerodynamics, comfort, and efficiency. On the other side, we have the Tesla Semi, the electric disruptor. First unveiled in 2017 and officially hitting the road in late 2022, it's Tesla's bold entry into the heavy-duty trucking world. Unlike the Cascadia, it doesn't burn fuel. It runs purely on electricity, powered by three high-efficiency electric motors. Tesla claims has about three times the power of a traditional diesel truck, and early test data suggests it can haul 80,000 pounds and still accelerate from zero to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds. Not bad for a quiet newcomer. Now let's talk range and refueling, or in Tesla's case, recharging. The Freightliner Cascadia is built for long hauls. Depending on the engine configuration, it can go well over 1,000 miles on a full tank of diesel. Refueling takes just a few minutes, and there's no shortage of truck stops across the country. This convenience is one of the biggest advantages diesel still has. Fast, easy, and familiar. The Tesla Semi offers two versions, one with about 300 miles of range and another with 500. In real-world testing, the 500-mile version has actually exceeded expectations. One PepsiCo test completed a 500-mile delivery with about 4% battery remaining. When it's time to recharge, the Semi uses Tesla's new Mega Charger network. These ultra-fast chargers can reportedly add 400 miles of range in about 30 minutes. Fast for electric, but still slower than filling up a diesel tank. Let's look at cost next, because while power and range are important, the bottom line matters most to fleets and owner-operators. The Freightliner Cascadia typically costs between $150,000 and $220,000 depending on specifications. That's not cheap, but it's in line with most premium diesel trucks. Maintenance is also predictable, oil changes, filter replacements, and other routine diesel engine care. Experienced mechanics can work on them easily, and parts are widely available. The Tesla Semi, on the other hand, was originally projected to cost around $150,000 for the 300-mile version and $180,000 for the 500-mile version. But recent reports suggest the real-world price may be closer to $250,000 to $400,000, depending on production capacity and material costs. That's a big jump, but Tesla argues it pays off over time. They claim the semi can save operators up to $70,000 per year in fuel costs and over $200,000 in total savings over the first three years. Fewer moving parts also mean lower maintenance. No oil changes, no transmission work, and less brake where thanks to regenerator braking. Of course, price isn't just about upfront cost. It's also about longevity and total cost of ownership. Tesla's electric platform offers fewer points of failure, but batteries do degrade over time and are expensive to replace. Cascadia's diesel platform is more mature. Its quirks are known and parts are plentiful. Let's shift gears and talk about the driver experience. The Cascadia is designed with comfort and familiarity in mind. It comes with different sleeper configurations, ergonomic controls, and a solid ride. Everything about it feels tried and tested. The layout is familiar to anyone who's driven a diesel rig. Over the years, Freightliner has improved aerodynamics and integrated advanced driver assistance features like collision mitigation and lane departure warnings. The latest models also feature digital dash displays and mirror cam technology, adding a modern twist to traditional setup. The Tesla Semi, by contrast, is futuristic. 
The driver sits in the center of the cab. Yes, the middle, flanked by two large touchscreen displays. It's a cockpit-like feel, more like an aircraft than a truck. There's hardly any noise when driving, and the instant torque from the electric motors makes acceleration feel smooth and powerful. Safety features are integrated throughout. Automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assistance, and electronic stability control all come standard. The center seating position gives the driver maximum visibility, but may take some getting used to for long-time truckers. Next up, availability and infrastructure. The Freightliner Cascadia is mass-produced and widely available. It's assembled in both North Carolina and Mexico and supported by one of the largest dealer and service networks in North America. Thousands of trained technicians know how to repair and maintain them. Fleets can easily find parts, service, and support anywhere in the country. The Tesla Semi, on the other hand, is still ramping up production. It's being built at Tesla's Gigafactory in Nevada, where over 1,000 new workers were recently hired to increase output. Tesla aims to produce 50,000 units annually by the end of 2026, but as of now, supply is limited. Charging infrastructure is another work in progress. Mega chargers are still rare, and while the technology is impressive, it's not yet widespread. That means limited routes and increased planning for long hauls. Now, let's look at the environment, because whether you're 25 or 75, we all want to leave behind a better world. The Cascadia, as a diesel truck, emits greenhouse gases and pollutants like nitrogen oxides and particulate matter. Newer engines are cleaner than ever, but diesel still contributes significantly to air pollution and carbon emissions. Freightliner does offer an electric version of the Cascadia, the E-Cascadia, but its range is limited to around 230 to 320 miles, making it best suited for regional deliveries. The Tesla Semi produces zero tailpipe emissions. When charged using renewable energy, it offers one of the cleanest forms of freight transportation available today. Companies under pressure to meet sustainability goals are watching this closely. And for the rest of us, it means quieter roads, cleaner air, and a step toward reducing climate impact. But no truck is perfect. The Tesla Semi faces significant challenges, high costs, slow rollout, and a charging network that isn't yet ready for prime time. Freightliner has its own issues, including a continued reliance on fossil fuels and recalls related to brakes and steering. Each truck represents a different philosophy. The Cascadia is optimized tradition. The Tesla Semi is bold reinvention. So which one is better? It depends on your priorities. If you need something proven, widely supported, and easy to maintain, the Freightliner Cascadia is still king. It's familiar, fast to refuel, and backed by decades of real-world data. If you're a fleet looking for reliability and national reach, it's a safe bet. But if you're thinking about long-term cost savings, environmental benefits, and embracing the next wave of transportation, the Tesla Semi is a clear contender. It's quieter, cleaner, and potentially cheaper to operate in the long run, once infrastructure catches up. In many ways, this isn't just a comparison between two trucks. It's a reflection of where we've been and where we're going. The diesel era brought us prosperity, speed, and global commerce, but it came at a cost pollution, maintenance, and noise. The electric era promises lower emissions, quieter roads, and new efficiencies, but it's still finding its footing. So whether you're an industry veteran, a tech enthusiast, or just someone who loves the sound of good engine or the silence of innovation, this is a moment to pay attention to. We are watching history shift gears in real time. Thanks for joining me for this in-depth look at the Tesla Semi versus the Freightliner Cascadia. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories about the past, present, and future of transportation. Stay curious, and I'll see you on the road.